On Monday, oil fell after Saudi Arabia and Russia delayed their meeting. Eurozone construction activity fell at the fastest rate for over 11 years. Japan launched $1 trillion coronavirus stimulus package as Prime Minister Abe announced state of emergency. And China reported 39 new coronavirus cases as of Sunday and saw a rise in asymptomatic coronavirus cases and said it would tighten controls at land borders. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Daniela, founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Monday, the US dollar and the Japanese yen underperformed their major counterparts as the market mood notably improved. The S&P 500 and Dow Jones were up over 7%, boosting the sentiment-linked Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. This was probably because of somewhat stabilizing coronavirus cases and additional U.S. fiscal stimulus back. Well, listen to the sentiment continue the rest of the week. We shall wait and see. Today I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair, which despite the recent bullish momentum, has still been not able to break above the 67 resistance level. However, on the four-hour chart, it has just broken above the Ichimaku cloud, which could be an indication of continued bullish momentum towards at least 67 which also falls on the 50% Fibonacci tracement level. Any bet further than this would be too risky, in my opinion. The same pattern is observed in Aussie dollar, Kiwi yen, and Kiwi dollar. Now, do you think these pairs will continue their bullish momentum throughout the week? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in financial markets involves a risk of loss, and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tick Mill YouTube channel. I'll go back to you with more updates tomorrow.